two states in astrophysics. So good morning. Um, so this talk uh, should introduce to you our young scientists a project proposal, uh, which is about the dynamics of uh, angular momentum flows, uh, and it should be a type of seminar of work in progress. But uh, since I was working on a quite different topic during my PhD, it's much more working beginning <laughs> than working progress. So the purpose of this seminar is to introduce uh, you uh, some basic idea uh, and the goal, some goals that we want to achieve uh, during uh, our uh, work on this project. Um, so uh, the studying of the low angular momentum accretion flow is of quite uh, big uh, astrophysical uh, significance. Uh, since it is uh, related uh, to the uh, low luminous X-ray sources and uh, the variability of their spectra. And between uh, uh, those type of sources, uh, uh, we can uh, uh, count, for example, uh, the low luminous galactic nuclei, uh, such as also the Sagittarius A star in the center of our own galaxies. Um, and in, uh, uh, in the spectra of, of these sources, even though they are quite faint, uh, quite interesting variability of the different times, uh, time scales uh, is observed. Uh, for example, the classic periodic oscillation and some flares. And uh, because uh, Sagittarius uh, A star is supposed to be the closest supermassive black hole to us, and because uh, the experimental equipment is getting better with a uh, higher angular resolution. We can expect that in a uh, few years uh, we will get much more uh, 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 detailed data about uh, uh, the central region of our galaxy, so uh, numerical and also theoretical study about the physical processes in such uh, systems uh, uh, is needed to explain those data. Uh, but our topic also could be related to other systems, for example, to uh, stellar black hole binaries in a question state, uh, where also uh, flares uh, were detected, uh, quite bright flares uh, with uh, a change of the count rate uh, by a factor of five or more. Uh, so uh, the, uh, uh, the key feature uh, when switching for uh, the very simple uh, uh, spherical accretion to a more realistic uh, accretion of uh, uh, gas with a low angular momentum is in that uh, the, the topology of the solution can change and for some range of parameters there is a possibility of existence of multiple critical points. And together uh, with uh, some type of hysteresis effect, we will talk later, uh, this could lead to uh, some asymmetric oscillatory behavior, which could be related to flares and QPOs and so on. And our aim in this project is to run uh, one, two, or three D uh, numerical simulations, uh, we, uh, which will confirm uh, the same analytical results, which are uh, published. Uh, and maybe uh, also address some uh, new uh, aspect of this. Uh, so uh, there is a, a lot of paper uh, related to accretion uh, uh, and also to low angular accretion, uh, but for us uh, these are the basic pages which we want to stem uh, from. So the paper by Progra and Bergman from 2003 about the hydrodynamical simulations uh, in 2D of the low angular momentum accretion and Yannick Progra Bergman 2008. And then papers about the theoretical uh, and semi-analytical studies about the situation of existence is DAS uh, 2002, DAS with the 2003 that's in Chetney, uh, 2012. Uh, so as I said, we want to perform... Before you begin, could you please tell us what does it mean low? Uh, so, uh, what is the scale in contrast to high? Yes, yeah, so, so high angular momentum... Very low. Uh, high angular 
some of the tools are, uh, for example, the Kepulerian architectural disk, where the angular momentum is. But we, we don't have the intuition yeah. when yeah. you are saying Kaplerian, yeah. and it is like saying to me that there are so big the dogs running around. Yeah, I think it's a perturbation the, about spherically symmetric solution. Yes. Yeah, the but definition is spherically yeah, symmetric. Yeah, never mind. The no question is what means, uh, uh, what means but slow. But angular momentum is not dimension. The dimension is quantity. Yeah, that was precisely the point. So there is a critical uh, value of angular momentum which we can express in the geometrical units like 2 times uh, Schwarzschild radius times the speed of light. Uh, so it's uh, in the geometrical units it's 2. And the low angular momentum flow is around this 2, from 1 to maybe 3. So the radius times the speed is not yet angular momentum. There must be some mass it's, here. Yeah, it's specific. So it's specific angular momentum. It's per unit volume yes. mass or per unit density or for whatever. Uh -huh. That is the... But, uh, Okay. So I, I, low I, means that this uh, so is it's small on this scale. It's small on this scale, so there is, let's uh, say, some part of the gas which can accrete. So the, the, and the some angular part of momentum the of that fluid divided by that Schwarzschild, let's uh, say, angular uh, momentum, is less than one. Much less. Well, yeah. less than much, one. Much, much. Well, but... No, no. no. no, no. Uh, I so so the is what? <laughs> it's larger. Oh, and she, what she said is that it is around, around one. one. Yes, you will see Not later. Small. So, oh, uh, so that means that this, let's say, it, let's call it Schwarzschild angular momentum, yeah. is relatively low in astronomical. Yes, because the Keplerian angular momentum in the geometrical unit is. And square, Keplerian means simply the radius, or I mean, well, the, the running radius times the mass times the. Velocity, right? Your objects going yeah, around the around this, like a normal angular momentum of the Earth, for example, yes. around this. Yeah. yeah, but then I have the, the I, I was bothered with something else with this thing, which disappeared here. It's buried in the formulas, but if you will kindly, okay. Mm -hmm. There was a word in this, yes. and uh, 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 I, I have no idea what is going on in astrophysics. However, I had some knowledge of hydrodynamics. And it, it, uh, if, we are, if we are talking about rotating fluid, then the assumption that the rotating fluid is non-viscous is 99,999% uh, .99 completely wrong. Yeah, so, so the question is that uh, the, even a very, very tiny little bit yeah, of the viscosity means that the angular momentum of the layers which are formed in rotation is being transferred radially, either outward or inward. And therefore, in all the problems of, hydro, of rotating hydrodynamics I know, it is the viscosity which is important. There is this famous example. I mean, for example, uh, you use the mixer in the kitchen, right? I mean, it, it would make no sense. I mean, it wouldn't work it would, uh, if, the, if the liquid yeah, did. Lucas, there are time scales here, and yeah. scales involved in transport of this angular momentum. So, very, yeah, but, very yeah, but, but, that but if the liquid is in this case, that I can imagine there is a black hole, and it's a two dimensional thing. Therefore, it is rotating uh, along the axis, which is perpendicular to this two dimensional plane, right? This is my understanding. Then, of course, I can draw a circle around the black hole, uh, or a, a, a belt around the black hole. There is a certain mass in the belt, right? And therefore, this belt has a certain angular momentum. And I can draw another belt like this, having a radius epsilon larger or epsilon smaller or something. And the angular momentum of these things are being conserved independently of each other. And this is in any hydrodynamic sense nonsensus, and it leads to the fact that it, it's, it's the other expression of the fact that this Euler equations blow up at the, in a finite time. Yes. I mean, they, 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 what I'm saying is that it's something which was experimental, you know, it's trivial from physics, but it took long time for people to see that this is precisely the reason why the Euler equations 
so for in viscous fluid are uh, have this uh, I don't know how we call it, the sickness, right? So that for, the, for a finite time they blow up. In this numerical so, code, actually, even though when we are uh, thinking about invested gas, there is some artificial viscosity, uh, which is due to the numerical reason and which is. Yeah, but that's even fun. worse. Then it's even worse because this, they, they suffer, this of course, this viscous, this numerical viscosity appears in any simulation, in hydrodynamics, molecular dynamics, something like this. And the only known, at least in the laboratory physics way of getting rid of this problem, is that you can bury it by rescaling the real viscosity. Uh, of course, the viscosity is very important here. And Studying in this seed flows is uh, approximate while and but, we need but, to run the MHD models. But particularly in the context the of angular momentum, it's dangerous. Why so not? We plan to do this. I'm sorry, I, I, okay. Whatever. I, I shut up. <laughs> I think it's still continuous uh, physics. So, for whatever large and important viscosity it is, there is sufficiently short time scale that the angular momentum transport is sufficiently small and it can be, in that short time scale, viscosity can be neglected. And this is something I question. Okay. Well, so uh, from the normal hydrodynamics, and I can do the kitchen experiment, which... No, no. Uh, but I think at this point... No, I, 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 I shut up. Yeah, yeah. Because so, it's clear that there are different opinions on the role of this concept. Could you explain okay. the last uh, question, number three? What is it? So, so this, uh, these three equations are the basic equation of the uh, hydrodynamics, and it is the balance of energy. And, and the energy is the uh, internal energy, the E is the internal energy. Enter. Enter. Oh, yeah. okay. And I, I just want to show you that we are using a hydrodynamic code uh, called Zeus, which is uh, being developed and improved uh, for 20 years now. And that uh, this code is quite a robust code, uh, which uh, work on a, a grid uh, uh, and uh, do the finite differences uh, approximation of the equations. Um, and it has an uh, explicit time scheme and multi-step uh, operator split uh, procedure. That means that uh, it uh, uh, splits the operators and makes it uh, in, uh, during one time step, makes several runs uh, uh, when it goes through the source step and the transport step uh, and uh, update the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, quantities uh, in those. Uh, <coughs> and it has a conservative uh, differencing scheme for adoptive variables, so there is uh, error in, uh, in the uh, 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 variables which should be conserved only on the level of the uh, round of error. Since these are numerical calculations, would it really be so difficult to include this causality? So we plan uh, as a next step to, uh, because this, uh, I, I forgot to say that this code also could uh, deal with MHD simulation and a radiative transfer simulation. So far we start only with the hydrodynamical, but we can then uh, include MHD simulation and the uh, uh, main uh, uh, reason for viscosity in the relativist uh, astrophysical flows is uh, is the uh, magnetization instability and so on. So but are there codes available that include viscosity? Yeah. So oh, that, that would be very... this way, it would not MHD. It would MHD. In the normal yes, hypothalamics, yes. Because the, 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 but, uh, but the normal viscosity is very, very low. That, so that as I understand hydrodynamics, there are two reasons why including viscosity is a little bit cumbersome. The one is that it, of course, changes the equation number three. Yes. And, the, and that, of course, is not clear because you have to have a complicated equation of state which, had, which says how the internal heat generation yes. go. So you cannot have just one equation. You, in fact, have to have two equations. The other thing is that if you have the uh, if you have the Navier Stokes equation, right, roughly na viscosity, mm -hmm. say the Navier Stokes equation, then if you try to do the numerical code, you 
probably probably you are using you are using the finite elements or the grid. Okay. okay. No, uh, in the, 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 what, what is the mathematics? Finite difference scheme. So the finite difference yeah. schemes. Okay. Therefore, you have to have a lattice on which you discretize. Mm -hmm. Now the, the Nadia stock stress tensor viscose is a, a, a devil which in you discretize it. It depends on what kind of a lattice you have used, okay, sure. and therefore all the results you have, because, of, for example, if you if you get it on the on a on a cubic lattice or whatever dimension, then you have addition conservation laws, which are completely spurious, and these addition conservation laws get into the problem. So uh, uh, this is why the people who make cars do not use anymore the the, the lattice models. Discretization, they use the finer element model where you invent what is called the face field, which kills this person. So. Okay. so now I will say something about the basic theory. So I, uh, we want to start a low angular momentum flow. So the most simple case is the zero angular momentum flow, uh, which was studied in 1952 by Bondi. Uh, and it's called uh, Bondi accretion. And in this case, uh, uh, we have a spherical symmetric uh, cloud of some gas, uh, which is eviscid and which is at rest uh, at infinity. Uh, and this gas is feeling the gravitational potential on, uh, of uh, uh, accretor uh, of mass m. Uh, through a Newtonian uh, potential, so we don't uh, take into account the own gravity of the gas, uh, and also the mass uh, is being constant. So we suppose that uh, the uh, mass of the gas is much uh, smaller than the mass of the uh, accretor. And the parameters uh, of such system is the density of the gas at infinity and pressure of gas at S infinity, which could be rewritten uh, by using the sound speed at infinity. So the usual, way, uh, uh, the parameter, usual parameters is the density and the sound speed at infinity. And uh, we have a polytrop polytropic gas with uh, this equation of state, with the polytropic constant going from 1 to uh, 5 fer. And now, uh, actually, we will treat analytically the equation uh, Zeus is treating numerically. So from the equation of continuity and from the assumption of the spherical symmetry, you can get the equation for the accretion rate, A. And uh, we uh, also know that the uh, velocity is only in the uh, right uh, radial uh, di direction, so we have only one dimension of problem. And uh, if we... But it was said that M is constant. So, yes. uh, so if M is yes. constant, then, then, then this because equation number four yes. seems to be having a problem. Yes, so, uh, because M dot is equal to zero. Then. Uh, and yes. it, since it's a product, one well of this quantity, rho is different from zero, R is different no. from zero, this so is, V is This is the accretion rate which is connected with the gas flowing in. So the M in accretion. equation 4 is it's not M in the... Yes, This is the mass of the black hole and this is... Yes. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So, so during the computation, I just reacted yes, to the during the computation, we do not take into account the, uh, the growth of the mass of the accretor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so now we have a Euler equation, and we want to have a steady flow, so the uh, time derivative drops out, and we can integrate this equation along the streamline to get a Bernoulli equation. <coughs> Uh, and now we can rewrite this equation using a dimensionless variables, where the uh, radius is expressed in uh, the so-called Bondi radius, uh, which is uh, approximately the uh, uh, radius of influence of the accretor. So it is the radius of uh, uh, volume where the gas feels uh, the uh, presence of the accretor. Uh, the velocity is scaled by the sound speed velocity uh, and uh, sound speed at infinity, and the density is scaled by the density at infinity. But there is again a confusion with m. And the uh, accretion rate is scaled by this. Is m yeah. in the expression for a? And, and this m is constant. And yeah. Therefore, uh, therefore, since a infinity and rho infinity are constant, then lambda must be time dependent. Yes, it is because so now this is I am right. Now. Uh, the, the 
the variable is lambda. Mm -hmm. And this all so that's what I wanted to the, uh, so making the, it that the previous equation should be for lambda. And, uh, yes, and now I rewrite these two equations, introduce uh, this pair of equations where here is lambda uh, as parameter. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, now I need to solve these two equations. So I will uh, solve uh, um, this equation. What was a, a, a infinity? A uh, sound speed at infinity. Ah, at infinity. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, these uh, two, uh, this uh, the set of equations could be solved uh, using ansatz of u uh, uh, in this form. And uh, this uh, variable has a physical significance because it's a ratio of the local uh, speed of the gas to the local uh, sound velocity which is given by this. So we can call it also the Mach number. Uh, and now how looks the uh, possible solutions of, of this equation? It, it looks like this. Uh, where here we have the radius in the boundary radius and here is the value of u. And from knowing u, we can compute uh, the density and uh, the velocity, so we have the solution. And now uh, we impose the, our, uh, uh, our initial condition, how to say, that we said that uh, at radial infinity the gas should be at rest. That means that the, the, at radial uh, velocity the u uh, should equal to zero. And um, we also know when uh, the accretion is going on the black hole, uh, the, 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 uh, the gas will approach the, uh, uh, the horizon of the black, the black hole with speed approaching speed of light. But we also know that the maximum sound speed is only c uh, over uh, square root of 3. So we know that uh, uh, the uh, u has to be uh, bigger than 1, so the solution has to be supersonic uh, when it reaches uh, the horizon of the black hole. So uh, from this we know that we uh, uh, we yeah, but, see but for a solution. this bound is for photons. I mean, the, 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 the fact that the speed of sound cannot exceed the c over the square root of t depends on a very peculiar equation of state. If the yeah. particles are massive, yeah, so, so the particles are massive, then it will be completely different. This, the, the, this, this, I mean, it, 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 it contains, I mean, it's obvious because it contains only the velocity of light, so it cannot yeah, be, it cannot be universal, because the universal, matter would the disappear maximum, from them. Yeah, it's the maximum volume, like, not universal. Well, this is the upper bound. This is the upper uh, bound. Uh, this, this, I don't know, it's the upper bound for velocity of sound in the photon gas. Yeah, no, it's not. And for one. any other gas, Why? it's low, it's less. Why? Because of the mass, is the fact. Uh, no, there's no fact. Because it depends on the equation of state. And I can easily... No, it's only the question that I cannot invent the equation of states where the velocity of sound is larger than C. But there's nothing, nothing in the equation of state which tells anything about the square root of 3. Then I can swear in the court of law. This, this comes from a very special relation between pressure and density for photon gas. And yeah. I know that the velocity cannot be larger than C, and the equation of state has it built up. But there is a lot of space between C and C divided by square root of 3. So I don't know, maybe it is completely unphysical. But yeah, the, the only reason I'm saying is that, that we need to, uh, that we uh, seek for a solution which go from the It's a sensible upper bound, but it's not. Uh, To the accretor, and which is going from the subsonic region to the Supersonic region. So uh, it is this uh, only this type of solution uh, is suitable for our problem. So it's the solution which go through this critical point where the Mach number equals to one. So this uh, part of the solution is subsonic and this part of the solution is supersonic. Okay. And uh, uh, so there should be some sonic radius, which is the radius of this uh, of this point. And uh, we can uh, compute a quite a simple relation for the sonic radius, the sound speed of the sonic radius, and the density. And uh, now uh, we can uh, compare uh, this analytical solution to the numerical solution we uh, compute with the CU scope. So here is an example. I computed uh, this for uh, one, two, and three dimensions. And uh, on this plot, 
uh, there the analytical results are the uh, lines and the uh, then and the data points from the Zeus uh, solution are the crosses and you can see that uh, it is an agreement and uh, this computation was done so that I uh, imposed the uh, uh, this solution at the beginning and ran for a longer time and w wanted to see if the solution will somehow crash or change or something but uh, at the end of the computation, even in this zoo, it really is in agreement with the analytical uh, formulation. So it's a testing of, of our code. Um, now for gamma uh, 5 over 3, the sonic radi uh, radius uh, goes to zero. And also we probably want to include some characteristic effect near our uh, accretor. Um, so uh, we want to use some self-Newtonian potential uh, because we don't want to solve the whole general relativistic uh, thing. Uh, so uh, we use the uh, pseudo-Newtonian uh, pseudo vita potential which is uh, in this form and we replace the Newtonian potential with this potential uh, at the, uh, in the Bernoulli equation and now uh, the uh, uh, relation for the sonic radius uh, changes and there is a non-zero sonic radius even for gamma equals to five fer. And uh, here is uh, how we uh, change the Bernoulli equation. Here we change the potential, and we can use the same dimensional as variables and the same ansatz like before. And we have an uh, equation uh, for uh, for the Mach number u. And uh, here on the right hand side we have only uh, a function of x and here is a function of u so we can for every given uh, position x we can get a value of u by using some uh, method for finding roots of equation so we use you know, the uh, Newton method like this uh, and um, uh, so this is how we compute it and now we can for example, try to uh, compute uh, the thing that we, in our Zeus code, we change uh, how the uh, uh, point mass for is computed from the Newtonian to the pseudo-Newtonian way. But we can uh, let the initial condition uh, like a solution of Newtonian and we can see what will happen when we run the computation. So, I, so at, the, at this picture, these lines are the pseudo-Newtonian uh, analytical solution and the crosses are the data points which are set as only Newtonian solution. So it differs. You, you, you just had the trivial <coughs> question. Can you go back to the previous mm -hmm. slide? You are solving this by the Newtonian method. Is it not simpler just to plot the left hand side and right hand side and see where they cross? Yeah, of course. But uh, I Sorry. want to do this. I, I want to uh, start my computation in the Zeus code. So I need to somehow set up the variables, so I, I cannot only look at the plots. You know, you can do that, but uh, you can, uh, this is needed for the computation. <laughs> and, okay, so here is the, uh, the variable u, the Mach number, this is the density, uh, this is the radial velocity. And I will play now the video. And you can see that in a very short time, the solution really uh, goes to from Newtonian to certain Newtonian uh, solution and uh, the time units is M here so this was really in a very short time uh, now the time step will much more increase uh, and we can see that uh, there is some wave which is uh, caused by, by the sudden change uh, of the solution but we, so we get again the right pseudo Newtonian uh, solution. Okay. But how do you know it's a numerical artifact this way? That this numerical artifact this way? Yeah, you so have, this, you have yeah. a sun wiggle going over this line. Yeah, it was. Um, and it's probably. <coughs> yeah, if it's you look at it, that, it's just, just. It's because. Uh, the because you have a rather change and that is precisely where the viscosity will interfere. You, have, you, yes. you don't have the time but, scale. But also with. in the physical sense, uh, the density and what, the... What is the time scale of that wiggle? Yeah, so at the beginning the time scale was in units uh, of m. So m, uh, the time in units of m, uh, 
10 to the 6. is the time when the uh, 10 to the 6. Then the light. 10 to the third. Passes through the Schwarzschild radius. Half of the Schwarzschild radius. And on the y axis? The question is what is on the axis? Aha! Yeah, so it's uh, from 10 to the minus 4 to 10 to the 3. And this, this is in different units because more of different <laughs> It is in different units for different, you know. Uh, so the density is in the, in the unit of the density at uh, infinity. The radial speed is in the unit of the sound speed at infinity. Uh, the Mach number is dimensionless on a number. Uh, yeah. And this is the local sound speed in the units of the sound speed at infinity. So there is a legend, different colors represent different physical quantities. Yeah. As a function of radius. Yes. As a function of what? Radius. Of distance. Radius. From the From the distance. Okay. Yeah. But it's hard to say because and the, uh, and the uh, x axis goes but from the, the, uh, 4 Schwarzschild radius one thing up which, to 1 million Schwarzschild radius. Which radio. bothers me a bit, but <coughs> perhaps I have missed the point. The, the red line is velocity. This, uh, this yeah. is the Mach number. Yeah, this but that's velocity. Yes. I mean, yes. it's, a, it's, it's, it's just scale. Yes. It's a local velocity, right? Oh, and yeah. if I look at the uh, x-axis is from the sun, so, so the black hole is on the left and yes. the infinity is to the right, yes. right? And it's not the scaled radius, it's the normal radius. Uh, it's uh, a radius in So it's, a, it's, in it's not difference. x divided by x plus lambda, so it's infinity is at infinity. Yes. Yes. It's not that one, yes. right? <laughs> okay, there's something strange because if everything is massive and rotating, then I would no, say it is not rotating. rotating. Yeah, 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 but it's a natural momentum. No, 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 so we will not, we are, we are not looking no, 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 no. because I thought that any velocity should behave like 1 over r at infinity. Because, I mean, because this, Angular momentum is equal to 0 here, period. Yeah, but that's, that's, uh, that, I'm, 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 Spherical flow, spherical symmetric flow. Yes. Yes, yes. Anyway, the velocity should decay like 1 over r. Wow. And it seems to get to zero at finite. It's something I'm missing so with the scale. This is also a logarithmic scale. Never mind this logarithmic scale, but there is a finite, finite radius at which it goes to zero. It's oh, zero. No, no, no. 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 it's a logarithmic scale. Just logarithmic. Zero is in the in the zero, 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 zero is in China. <laughs> <laughs> So that is what I was using. Now we do this is. And now uh, we uh, so we wanted now to add some angular momentum to our flow. So we follow the procedure which, which was done in program back in 2003 in 2D numerical uh, study, and we introduced the rotation uh, to the system in the way that we impose a low angular momentum to the gas, which. Uh, uh, depends on uh, on the, uh, the polar angle theta, uh, and uh, so we start the computation with the Bondi values for density and radial velocity, and uh, add uh, angular velocity given by this relation, and we keep uh, that uh, on, on the boundaries during the whole computation. And the result which uh, they uh, got in the paper is that the, uh, they uh, will create a torus of gas at the equator. Uh, Later, and uh, the accretion is going through the polar funnel. So I will show you the, their result. So uh, this is a sequence of plot in different times. It, it's 0 0.03, 0 0.06, but 5 to make it short, this angular momentum is an angular momentum of a volume at the distance of r from is the center, or of what? Because the, the angular momentum in the hydrodynamics is not uniquely defined quantity. There are several, there are different. The one is the, 
if that exists. It's specific as you know. Uh, yeah, but now <coughs> when it's specific means nothing, because one is that you take a, vol a little volume at the distance r, you cut and it looks how it moves. The other is you look at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the tiny belt at which sits around, and the other is you look at the mass of the liquid from zero to r, which is rotating. It also has angular momentum. And this three angular momentum I'm giving, they are not that simply related. But this is the local and the local uh, density. Yes. Right. The density right. and the radius times yeah. the speed. Yes. Yeah. Related to the azimuthal. And of course, due to the cylindrical yeah. symmetry, is ah, the same. So this was my point. question. You keep the cylindrical yeah, symmetry. Yeah, the cylindrical yeah. symmetry yeah. is kept here yeah. all the time. Yes. Okay. And, and we have only the polar dependent. Only the, the polar dependent. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, this is their result. Uh, so uh, uh, they have so the uh, contours of angular momentum in scale of uh, this critical angular momentum. So one is uh, here. The but then the this one you use is constant. Is constant. Angular momentum at, at infinity, yeah? uh, in a way which is. Yeah, you can add all of uh, in, uh, in infinity at the boundary as a boundary condition. But it or doesn't need it, it, it constant. Because if, 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 it is the, if, if it is that angular momentum, it then it is proportional to the radius times the velocity. Yes. Velocity goes like 1 over r because the thing will yes. blow up at infinity. So r times 1 over have, r is constant. Yes. And now we so have 2D. So it's only constant. So what, 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 no, so it is not. We have 2D computations. So it's only constant. So why should I calculate it? Because it's only in the limit. No, it's everywhere because it, at every point, if it's defined like this, then at every point, at every distance r from the from the black hole, let's say, the velocity goes like one over r. The radius goes as an r. So if I multiply it, it's constant. Unless density makes funny things, but it cannot make funny no, things. But I, yeah. at the beginning, I will prescribe angular momentum to my gas. Uh, uh, like uh, this equation, and it depends on the polar angle. So from but it for does not depend on, angle, that does not depend on distance. Yeah, so, so it's a constant on, at each r. It, it is constant on each r, but it's not constant on each theta. And now you can see in this plot, which is almost at the beginning. This is almost at the beginning of the computer. You can see at this plot. See at this plot. But the yeah, but the thing has a. I mean, if I look at something, I cannot think. This is the famous statement that the president Ford president it should be dumped and walk at the same time. Uh, the, the thing is having a spherical symmetry. Uh, cylindrical symmetry. Yeah. 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 Cylindrical symmetry, right? Yes. That violates the cylindrical symmetry. No. If no. there are momentum. No, no, no. It does no. not. It, it does not. Yeah, it depends on the angle. Polar, 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 polar. Five, from the equator five. to the north pole. It does not, not depend five, on, but on the ah, so the the yeah, yeah. I was saying, so why should I? This is polar. Yes, yeah, so it depends why on this uh, But if this is a random situation, why should I be interested in what goes on? No, it's two-dimensional, but it's cylindrical symmetry. Yes. So, so their computation was done in 2D. But uh, this particular uh, <laughs> the, the drawing corresponds to which dependence upon uh, so the, uh, To a particular dependence. Upon yes, so this one. Yes, one minus cosine uh -huh. of theta. Uh, and the equator is there is the maximal uh, angular momentum and is decreasing uh, uh -huh. to the poles. And they use several factors. Is there a good physical reason for such a sample? Yeah. Yes, the disks usually form around black holes at the equator. Yes. So maybe some gas from the evaporated disk or something like that. Okay. So the, the, this is the result, and at the end, this is the velocity point. And at the end of the computation, here is the contours of angular momentum, and this is the uh, line where the uh, Mach number equals to one. But this looks like some kind of chaotic behavior here in this. 
trajectory is not exact, there yeah. exists another trajectory which is a very close to this one you got. Yes. Yeah. 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 So so statistically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they give us some statistical yes. yeah. information. But why, why do you call it chaotic? If something is wiggled, it's not necessarily chaotic. Why it's turbulent? If it wiggles like that, it's usually not stable. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I run <coughs> Chaotic is well defined, uh, it has to be scaled in variable uh, oh, this but in three dimensions. Yeah. And here is the density, uh, here is the mass number, and here is the number of momentum. And uh, I uh, run this, uh, this is just very preliminary, preliminary computation, but it is a bit uh, uh, similar uh, uh, parameters as uh, day computation. And I computed uh, approximately half time of day computation. And uh, uh, the results uh, at the end of the uh, simulation is quite similar. That we can uh, see here that uh, the uh, shape of the surface where the Mach number equals to unity, so, so the sonic okay. surface uh, uh, makes these two lobes. And the accretion is going uh, around the uh, poles. And uh, here a uh, uh, porous forms, and there is some outflow. I, I'm sorry, I mean, I, I, I already learned that theta means something like the, this it, it, other yeah. angle. Therefore, why this seems to distinguish between what is up and down? So, I mean, the formula of L equal L0 times 1 minus What's symmetric? What? What's What's symmetric? symmetric? Symmetric and the fluid, I mean, there is a, the, the, what, it, what is selected, I cannot this is symmetry. Yeah. Symmetry. Yeah, but that cannot be physical by symmetry, so, so, it, 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 so it's a completely numerical artifact. Yeah, yeah. But they are not so it, it looks symmetric, doesn't it? No, 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 look, it goes down. The bluish one goes down. Fluctuations, but it is. No, no, this is not the fluctuation. No, 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 no. It's not the fluctuation. What, it's, it's a systematic thing which distinguishes. Uh, yes, this scales into the end. So the half of the structure is over here. Here it is to 1,000, and here it is to 100 structure radius. And the whole population of the land is to 10,000 structure radius, which is equal to 10 for the radius. So now this is the snapshot at the end of the simulation. Uh, so here is the whole computation which is okay. the uh, 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 this asymmetry between upper and lower half is something which bothers us very much. Because the equations have explicit symmetry, and you can verify that continuous equations have respect at every point of time this symmetry. And therefore, Ukash, can I? And therefore, if there is asymmetry in your numerical solution, that means that you break this symmetry. And once you break this symmetry, then, of course, we very much like to remind you about the simulation of uh, harmonic oscillator. When, if you don't use the proper, uh, the, the, the proper runge kutta forward backward algorithm, your simulation breaks the conservation of energy, and very soon the solution doesn't have anything with reality, with the continuous solution. So this is the real problem, and we are here concerned with such problems. Because this is theoretical institute, and we are very <laughs> sensitive to, to the breaking of uh, breaking of symmetries of solutions. Symmetries, but I believe I know what's so, happening. But obviously, symmetrical is still broken 
spontaneously. If you have two solutions which are very, very close in some sense, but then, the, then the, the, some the, superposition the, is not. But it's not a spontaneous symmetry breaking. So, and the symmetry is no. broken here by the numerical algorithm. Not the symmetry. But, 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 but it is not but, a spontaneous. But normally, if you a little bit disturb the initial conditions, then you will get this broken solution. Yeah, that's true. So it is also gentlemen. Before you will develop much more complicated theory, can I answer what is happening? The problem is that the algorithm has to start. <coughs> and the problem is that the angular momentum is a vector. And the vector has an arrow. Yeah. And if you start moving this yeah. way, it points that way. And if you start yeah, to point, it, it goes way. this. And if this simulation starts going in some direction, radial, around the axis, and it picks up where, where is top and where is bottom, and the rest, it, this has nothing to do with the sophisticated concept like like broken symmetry. So this is the symmetry. Uh, no, so it's not symmetry breaking. This is symmetry breaking. This is by initial physics, physics, right? right? By initial condition, the symmetry is broken by the initial no. condition. No, no, yeah. it's the symmetry. Yeah. The numerical yeah. initial yeah. conditions are by the fact yeah. that the algorithm has to start moving in one direction or in another. The continuous dynamics yeah. guarantees that there yeah. is no memory of no. the direction yeah. of this algorithm. Uh, but this the numerical class. This is numerical. This is numerical. So any physical. But it means that you have two solutions with two directions, which are. No, you don't. This is an error. If you want me to say. So there are no real physical solutions. This is not the situation that, for some reasons, equations have two solutions, and the nature has to make a decision. Which is no, Pavlik is asking if you disturb a little bit the symmetric uh, uh, initial, initial, initial condition. True. Sure. Then, of course, an instability but like that. Yeah. Yeah. But these initial conditions are perfectly chosen. Yes. It's that that you started on a computer. The computer has to make the first step. It, it makes it either left or it makes it right. And the results depend on the algorithm. Any algorithm is something. Because it's rotation. If you have to pick it doesn't matter whether it's rotation. There is an algorithm that preserves the symmetry. That's the point. And this algorithm does not preserve the symmetry. But it's preserved some of the quantities which should be preserved. And also the Your choice to use the initial conditions. Why don't you choose them such that they are symmetric? Yeah. The initial conditions okay. are at your disposal. Yes. So, for instance, so I think did you check? Did you, <coughs> did you check if your asymmetry, uh, amount of asymmetry, depends on the size of the grid? Yeah. Uh, so, so I think uh, surely that, that this uh, can somehow change the solution. But I have yeah. to also say that this is only very very preliminary. So if you would know so the lattice denser, there would be less asymmetry? Probably, yes. Or on a longer time scale, but I didn't have time to compute it. Yeah, I understand. Yes. You can always <coughs> increase the distance and see that it gets worse. Yes. So it does not yeah, yeah. necessarily require the answer the answer is it surely goes wrong where, where the uh, uh, grid is too small. But in any way the <laughs> colors are very nice. <coughs> okay. <laughs> and now we, well, I want to tell you something about the theory, uh, semi-analytical results about the short in uh, low angular momentum flows. But I don't have very much time. So we uh, want to study the existence of Rankine uh, Igonio, Igonio standing shock in the angular momentum equation. Uh, and uh, uh, there could be some difference between equation of neutron star or black hole, but we are interested in black hole. So um, 
as I said earlier, there is, there is a possibility that for some parameters we have a multi, a more critical points. At the Since point. we are now going into a data project, it was completely unclear why this word low is being used. I, I, I mean, there is that low angular momentum. I mean, in this presentation and in this equation, the concept large or low angular momentum, it was not clear. Why it is low angular momentum? It was L0, right? So if you have a yeah, okay. angular momentum, then the matter does not get uh, Of something, right? To something to should be neglected, right? right? Well, allowing astrophysical Slow, slow, but this everything is undimensionless here. So. Yes, but if you have a, a too much big angular momentum that the gas is like very far away from the central black hole, I cannot get inside. So what? No accretion is That's going interesting. Yeah. But that probably would Orbit. define some some critical angular and, momentum. And yes, as I was saying at the beginning, it's the two the times much of the reduced yes. mass of the sun. Yes, the equations do not care, so they apply. cannot define the critical. Okay, uh, so uh, I looked at the paper uh, uh, from 2002, who analytical uh, <coughs> the possibility of the shock existence in such flow. Uh, and he uh, studied the steady fin and axiom-symmetric in this flow, uh, where the vertical structure is given by the hydrostatic equilibrium uh, condition, and uh, the, this flow has uh, two conserved quantities, the specific energy and specific angular momentum, lambda, and we have the polytropic equation of state. Uh, and they made a, a, a one-dimensional semi-analytical computation in the material plane using four different pseudo-bushwarches potential, but also the Bajinsky meta potential, which is important for us. And uh, how uh, it is going, so uh, in that case, the integrated radial momentum equation is also the term related to the angular momentum. And we can compute the gradient of the flow velocity. And now uh, we are supposing that our flow is physical and smooth. So uh, at the point where the denominator goes to zero, also the denominator has to go to zero uh, for that the flow uh, will, uh, will be smooth. And uh, uh, this is the critical point condition, making both denominator and denominator go to zero. And from that we can compute uh, the sound speed and the velocity at the critical point like this. And if we uh, put uh, this expression back into the equation 20, we can get the equation for the position location of the critical points, which uh, looks like this. And depending on the parameters in, the, uh, in this equation, we can have one or three critical points. Uh, and in case of three criti uh, critical points, we have a subtle center and a subtle um, critical point. So that means that there are two possible sonic points in the flow uh, because the solution cannot pass through the center type of uh, critical point. Uh, and they computed a range of parameters uh, where uh, this is possible. So uh, this is for the uh, Parchinsky Vita potential. This shaded region is uh, the region of parameters where uh, two possible sonic points for the accretion flow it, uh, is present. And uh, this region is for two possible sonic points in the wind solution. Um, and uh, now, uh, so how uh, looks the solution like? Uh, so uh, we have the logarithm of radial velocity here and the Mach number here. And uh, we, now we have three uh, critical points, which is here, here, and here. These two critical points are of certain type. And there is a homophonic loop which is going around the center type back, uh, back to this critical point. And there is another solution which is going from infinity from the outer critical point and uh, it can go up uh, uh, to the black hole. Or there is a possibility that the shock forms and the solution uh, changes to the other branch. Uh, and uh, so here is it supersonic, but now it jumps down to the subsonic uh, region again and then goes smoothly to the uh, second sonic point. Uh, and to be supersonic at, uh, uh, near the uh, equator. So this is uh, the
the possible shock existence in low angular momentum flow. Uh, and uh, now uh, uh, these two type, uh, these two uh, type of solution has the same angular momentum and the same energy, but uh, it has a different entropy accretion rate, which uh, we can compute from the continuity equation. So, and uh, we uh, can show that for the shock in accretion flow, the uh, uh, entropy accretion rate at the inner sonic point is bigger than the entropy accretion rate for the uh, outer sonic point. And for the shock in wind, it is uh, reverse. So, the entropy accretion rate is the thing which uh, differentiated with, between these two solutions. And, uh, and we can uh, show that even in the case that there exist three uh, different uh, critical points that not at every time the shock uh, can create, but the shock can create only in that case uh, uh, that the jump of the entropy, which is caused by the standing ranking linear uh, shock, is exactly the difference between the entropy rates uh, from these two branches. So we can compute uh, this ranking idioniot condition and in the case that there is such radius where the jump condition is in agreement with the values of the uh, entropy accretion rates for the two uh, sonic points, the, the shock can uh, c create in the flow. Uh, okay. And now in Das and Czerny 2012, they um, studied the, the same phenomena, but uh, it, the, the analysis was done uh, within the general relativistic framework with the Kerr metric, and they divided the parameter space into several regions. Now we have here the uh, parameter space, here is the angular momentum, uh, and I will talk about the uh, it's, uh, y axis later. And now we can have uh, several intervals of angular momentum. Uh, so at the O region, uh, it means that there is only one uh, sonic point, and we call the outer set of type of this sonic point. And the I and S, we have three critical points, but uh, the shock does, cannot form because the ranking Egonio condition is not uh, satisfied anywhere. Uh, in AS, uh, we can have both uh, the solution without shock and the solution with shock. And uh, in the region A1, uh, we can have only the accretion which is going through the inner uh, uh, sonic point. And now uh, on this graph, we have a logarithm of density measured by 10 Schwarzschild radius and, uh, for these uh, types of solution. And we can uh, see that if we are on this lower branch, which means that the accretion is going through the outer sonic points, uh, and we will uh, slowly increase the angular momentum, then the density uh, will remain low, uh, and the shock will not form here. Uh, okay, so I will show you on the picture. Your time is... Yes, so I will almost finish now. Uh, so this is the picture of how the solution looks like for this uh, 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 for this uh, region on, on this picture. So there is a solution when only one critical point exists, and uh, the the solution goes through this sonic uh, sonic point, and it's outer one because it's far away from the black hole. Here is uh, uh, the <coughs> angular momentum when the uh, when the uh, two more critical points uh, form but uh, the shock cannot form here. When we increase the angular momentum farther, then through this inner one uh, sonic point, there is a homophrenic orbit around the center type of the critical point, but this homophrenic orbit is not connected to the radial inflation. So still the accretion is going like this way, and the shock cannot form. But when we will uh, uh, increase the uh, angular momentum, again, then uh, at some point, which is here by the green line, uh, there is a possibility of the shock creation and the, uh, the solution can go through this outer sonic core and jump down on, on the second branch and, and continues like this. And here... Yeah, well, to make it clear, what, what's on the X and Y? Yeah, this is the radial uh, the, yes, uh, in the logarithmic the scale and this is the Mach number, the, the, the U. The speed. Yeah. The, the, the speed. Sounds 
so this is from the supersonic. So it's a curious Van der Waals like behavior with its non uniqueness. Yeah. And uh, what, the what, last what one? happens at this radius where uh, this. No, no, uh, that I don't care about this. Uh, nothing happens on this red yeah. curve. Why this is this bump? So. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, usually, usually this kind of behavior has a. But this time. So the uh, the Mach number is a combination of the radial inward speed and yeah, the density. I know. Uh, and so the something pressure. funny is happening to the equation of state. The Mach number is an equation of state, yeah. and uh, because it's related to the density and derivatives and sound velocity and so forth, therefore it looks like that we have a funny changes in the equation of state, the, the relation of a density to, if, I mean, this curve has to be possible to convert it yeah, because, into the relation between the pressure and density, depending on the radius from the black hole. And that would mean that this equation has a very peculiar form. I, I call it Van der Waals because it looks like a Van der Waals yeah, curve. I think that the, uh, the influence of, of the angular momentum I will is do the Maxwell construction yeah. immediately. I don't do it in this. Yeah, and, uh, and here at the last picture we have accretion which is going only from the inner point and we can have a shock in the wind social, which is the other branch. Okay, and now if we will uh, uh, slowly change the, uh, uh, the angular momentum, so we have a sequence of steady solutions for slowly changing angular momentum which is given by the outer conditions from uh, some, there are some uh, companion stars which are producing veins which go uh, to our accretor. Uh, it is possible that there will be some kind of hysteresis effect because when the angular momentum is changing down from this region, there, there will be a shock uh, creation because Solution somehow remember his history and that's what not what, uh, that does not want to change very much. So, uh, so it will go here, and then the angular momentum goes uh, up from a lower um, uh, uh, values. Then the shock <coughs> will not form, and because there is quite a big difference in the density, that means that there is also this, uh, quite a big difference in the luminosity of such uh, source. So this could be related to some uh, quasi-periodic uh, behavior or to some flares when uh, suddenly the angular momentum of the infalling material is changed. And uh, we want to study these phenomena. Thank you. Thank you. What is known about the stability of these solutions? Because you are assuming historical symmetry in a way because everything depends on R. Now, when you change this a little bit, is this stable or is it yeah, there, there not has stable? Been, there has been some words about the stability because uh, it can be shown that there, is, there are two possible shock uh, positions and only one of them is stable against the perturbation. Uh, so in this work they talk about only about the stable position of the shock. In the yeah, so, so it, it, it is the literature studied in the... The new Euler equations are sick by definition, mm -hmm. mathematical definition. So any any uh, any appropriate the Euler equations are not sick. They are sick. They, are, they blow up in a finite time. So what? The equations so you don't know. I mean, if you have this stuff, the concept on the time of scale. They blow up on the what time? Yeah, but then we, we can we, certainly uh, describe certain phenomena until you reach the time which makes the difference. So. I feel, I still believe that they can be used for some restricted purposes. More questions? Then my question is, if, if, if this, 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 this funny curve, right? Can you, can you see this one bit one? So, okay, that is the accretion, right? Which is, if I can convert that into a density of the, of the matter as a function of radius from the black hole. Right? Yes. Then I would also have some kind of inhomogeneity related to this maximum and minimum. Yeah, because this curve means that there is a radius at which the accre accretion is large and the other where accretion is low. Right? 
If I moving out, then I will have a less matter falling and more. No, 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 because this is constant fall. Because in this, this is the math number, so it's a combination of the density. The math number density. is a derivative of a density, density with pressure. respect to the pressure, yes. the square root or something, because it's a velocity of sound. So the, if I make an assumption, what 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 I have called Mach number, then this curve can be converted numerically into a density as a function of radius. Yes, no. I mean that's no way. I mean it's 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 it may be complicated formula, but since the a is non homogeneous as a function of distance, therefore the density will also be. Very different than looking. I have no what idea. is on the x-axis? Uh, oh, yeah. distance to this point. Yeah, what does it mean? The distance, the distance lower than the Schwarzschild. Uh, yeah, so it's not going to zero. In fact. So zero. What is zero? Zero is the Schwarzschild. Schwarzschild. Radius. Radius. It's only. It's to me, it looks yeah. like that this, that this solution you. shows that, that these black holes have a Saturn ring. Something. The density is inhomogeneous around them. No, it yeah, because there is therefore, there, therefore is the there, there will be. That. <coughs> and, and this thing, because this curve is non unique, it says that the same value is for different R's. That means that yeah. there will be a belt like structure. Yeah, but the same value of the. Mach number. number. Yeah. yeah, but Mach number is a density. Not only the density, Not only speed, density, 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 but the pressure. pressure. And that depends. Yeah, no, it's derivative of a pressure with respect to the density for a given relation with the pressure and density, because the Mach number is defined by the equation well, of state. Of Therefore, there is an equation of state, which is algebraic equation. It's this uh, polytropic equation which was used in a funny way. The P is equal rho to the power gamma or 1 over yes, gamma, gamma or whatever it's a, a C, a gamma but is cp divided by cb and so on whatever so i can this curve is is a, is in fact written a density dependence on radius yeah but in a complicated uh, relation yeah, yeah, yeah well, no, but i mean we have computers for this thing to plot but then they, I can convert this plot into the density versus yes. radius. Yes. And because this curve is non-unique, it says that for the same, the same value on the y-axis is for different r's, right? Therefore, there will be a repercussion for this if I would plot a density versus radius. And, I, and that because this equation is a power law, pressure is a row to some power, Therefore, the Mach number is also a, a, a density to some power. Therefore, this, this will be also something <coughs> like this on a density. And therefore, yeah, but that means that the density is larger and smaller under some distances, so it forms a belt. Yeah, yeah, if I have a black hole, I have a belt. Yeah, so that would be nice to plot that belt. That density is not a monotonic function of the distance, that's all. Yeah, but that, that thing on a picture that would mean that here is lower, here is larger, and so therefore it forms a belt in a space. Sort, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a Saturn ring. Why did you say no? So. No, I didn't see it's a very beautiful thing. I mean, the people have gotten a so you, you lot of work done on the Saturn ring. So why do you see say the it's around? Right? On, on the, on the, on the, on the it would be much nicer picture than this one. Okay. So on this optimistic note. <laughs>